Question 3, four marks, trig equation. So, we want to solve sec squared theta add to tan theta is equal to four, four theta between zero and 360 degrees. Okay, so with a trig equation, everything needs to be in terms of one function. So, we need a trig identity here, and that is that sec squared is 1 add tan squared. So, let's just prove that, because no one can ever remember it. So, tan squared is sine squared over cos squared. Uh, by the way, you wouldn't need to do this in the exam. I'm just doing it. Bonus info. Why not? So, tan squared add 1 is sine squared over cos squared add 1. Now, we can say that 1 is cos squared over cos squared. So we got sine squared over cos squared add cos squared over cos squared. Now that gives us sine squared add cos squared. over cos squared sine squared add cos squared is 1 so that's 1 over cos squared which is sec squared okay bonus proof okay so our equation then can become just clear this up Okay, so our equation then, in terms of tan, is 1 add tan squared add um, 2 tan theta is equal to 4. Now this is a quadratic, so we need to get everything on the same side. So we can get tan squared theta add to tan theta um, 1 minus 4 is minus 3 is equal to 0. Now we can factorise this, I believe, 2. So we're going to need tan theta plus 3 and tan theta minus 1 is equal to 0. So that leaves us with two equations to solve. Either tan theta is equal to minus 3 or tan theta is equal to 1. So, the one on the right, let's do this one first. So, inverse tan of 1 gives us 45 degrees. So, the period of tan is 180. So, we get theta is 45 degrees, and then add 180, and we get 
Uh, two, two, five. Cool. And then, over here, uh, the inverse term of minus three is, um, now then, does it ask for decimal places? Okay, so it doesn't ask for specific Accuracy. So that's inverse tan minus three. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. Okay, now that's gonna give us uh let's go to one decimal. So we get minus seventy one point six. Now that is outside of the range that we want. So to get our first value of theta, add 180. And that's gonna give us 108.4. And then add 180 to that, and we get 288.4 degrees. So, theta is equal to 45, uh, 108.4. Two twenty five and two hundred ninety eight point four. Boom.